House cleaning. Housekeeping. All right, um, for me, just a couple of simple things right off the bat. Um, one is, um, if, if you haven't uh, heard or been around uh, South Jordan lately, we're, we're switching things up there a little bit in the sense that um, Nate Jackman and his team are joining us on Tuesday night. Um, Nate's a real good dude. Um, he knows his stuff. They do, um, they have a lot, i trying to figure out how I say this in the uh, most mutually beneficial way. <laughs> they don't do, they don't, they don't show a ton in terms of productivity, and, you know, as a team, but that's just stuff that they need. Um, I think they need some guidance and mentoring on how to turn uh, into a higher level of productivity over time and how to develop um, people in general. It's not like we're necessarily killing it right now, but um, he and I have both been doing this, you know, the same amount of time and, you know, if you compare them together, it's not even close. Um, but that having been said, you have a, a guy who's a real good dude, and on top of that, uh, he has invested a tremendous amount of time in uh, training content <coughs> and good solid organizational uh, skills and, and abilities and so a lot of that will be helpful to a team who knows how to be productive and, um, and so I, I think it's going to be uh, incredibly beneficial to them and fairly beneficial to us um, but it's going to be good addition to the Tuesday night. And what we're planning on doing, at least temporarily even, is um, just sort of merging together uh, as far as having his team attend our Tuesday night stuff. And then we're planning on doing a multiple class scenario on Tuesday night. So that'll be good because we'll be able to separate the new people from the old and, you know, do that kind of stuff. So it'll be good. Um, as far as uh, the goals and such, I, I like the continued focus on uh, new appointments set and staying focused on putting new activity in the front of the pipeline. That's just key. Um, you know, the results will come over over time as long as you keep focusing on that. And I know that's that's difficult mentally because if you're not getting the results you want, uh, it's real easy to start to convince yourself that it's not going to happen or that it's harder than it, than it is or, you know, whatever. Uh, so if I were you, I would just stay focused on the activity, uh, continue to get in front of new people, and then watch how much better you feel when you get that new stuff in the pipeline and new possibilities and all of a sudden you feel more optimistic. I would try to pay closer attention to when you feel more optimistic than paying closer attention to when you feel more, you know, negative or crappy, or crappy about what's going on. Because it's just easier to focus on the negative. Uh, and so I would, I would key in on, on what, what makes you feel more positive and more motivated and uplifted. And it, it's going to be attached to the activity levels that you have things that you've got going on uh, in a positive way, um, that's, what, that's what's going to be the, the deciding factor. You'll just see that you feel better when you do better. It's just the way it is. So if today you hit your, um, your appointment set goal, um, you'll, feel, you'll feel a sense of accomplishment almost immediately. So what I might do if I were you guys is I would focus on your appointment set and then immediately send out a message on Slack saying, you know, I set my appointment or I set my two appointments and I feel, you know, feels good. You know, I would, I would attach uh, to the accountability, I would attach sort of the, the emotion, you know. Um, and, you know, these, I, I don't think anyone here thinks that these goals you've set are extraordinary, but at the same time, if you were doing these things every single day, you, you feel better, you know. So if, if I were to go around the room and say, okay, 
you know, so and so set a goal to do X amount of new one on one set up today, um, you know, how extraordinary do you feel like that goal is? And then you would respond and say, well, it's not that good. But then I would say, over the last seven days, uh, have you done that every single day? And you would respond and go, well, no. And then I would say, wouldn't it feel great if you just did that every single day for a little while? And you would say yes. That's us having a conversation, just through me. Uh, so I would, I would just say focus on, you know, baby steps, Bob. You know, just move forward in the right direction, and you'll feel better about about what's going on. The other thing, the last thing that I would just say um, that I think is key is um, focus on uh, the, the general idea of rather than just setting goals for the month of October, because we're going to be, you know, is it this time next week we'll be into October? Uh, is October 1st next Monday? Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. So by next Monday, um, I would suggest thinking a lot about the goals that you have for today, or for for you know today and the next week. I think about the goals that you have for October, and how are you going to do things a little different? Here, here to me, is one of the things that I intend on helping you guys focus on um, for things to be better, things to be different. It's not only having the goals and filling out the inventory sheet. Which, uh, which if done, if you could have those sheets ready, um, we ought to be working on those this week in all of our meetings and make sure everybody has those done. But it's not just having the goals and then filling up the inventory. What, what I feel like uh, may help is getting more deliberate about, about who on <laughs> inventory you're going to be focused on today. So rather than just having this list of people and then you just look at it day in and day out, maybe maybe you identify, okay, I'm gonna reach out to this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy today, because I wanna set up uh, one to two appointments today, so these are the people I'm gonna follow up with, you know, or whatever. Uh, but getting a little more deliberate about um, putting a name to the goal and, and having something more specific to focus on instead of being so vague and so general. So I think as we do that in the next little bit, we'll we'll see some things happen. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Hey, I did have a good close the other day. You did? Yeah. What? <laughs> Whoa! Engaged. You guys were the first to know. Oh, Whoa. Shiite yeah. Muslim. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Blue. Oh, Blue Diamond died. Mm. Nice. Mm. Congratulations. <laughs> that looks fantastic. <laughs> wow. Good job. <laughs> <call. laughs> Love it. That is awesome. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So they're engaged. <laughs> How many points is that close for That's a million and a half <laughs> points. <laughs> wow. Congratulations, man. That is awesome. You guys have a date yet or are you going to figure that out? Pi 2020. 